our Market Unusual segment, Gary Alfonso joins us so with some sweet insights on the honey market. Gary, I see your tie is as yellow as honey. Was that the point? Yeah, yeah. I thought I'd come uh, looking like, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, the bee's knees today. <laughs> uh, just, just, a, just a quick question. Do you know why when people get married it's called the honeymoon? Because it's supposed to be sweet? Uh, no, it's in medieval times people actually consumed honey. Uh, in the period after their marriage because mm -hmm. it was believed that it increased fertility. Oh, interesting. So uh, so that's why it's called the honeymoon uh, phase. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, uh, honey has been part of human development for uh, centuries. And uh, and it, it's quite strange in sort of the cycle of this little commodity. And I went and bought uh, some honey from uh, just the local store. Um, and it, uh, it continues to retail uh, yeah, at anything between 50 to 140 rand. Uh, per litre, uh, which is, uh, or per kilo then, which is, is quite interesting. Because uh, w uh, honey, uh, South Africa only produces 33% of the honey that our market needs. And our market needs honey uh, for things like um, uh, cosmetics, uh, for food, obviously, for food processing. And the honeycomb uh, product of, of, of beehives uh, is, a, is an instrumental ingredient in things like shampoo, uh, in antibiotics. Uh, so uh, honey is probably one of the most important foods that we don't really know about and, and we only consume because uh, we, we get it in little bottles like this. Interesting thing about this little bottle when you see where it comes from, uh, they say it's a roughly a product of South Africa and or India and or China and or Uruguay and or Argentina. Okay. So it tells you a Options. little bit about uh, who's producing honey all over the world. So we only produce 33% uh, of, uh, of our needs in South Africa. So when you look at uh, global honey consumption or honey production, uh, China produces almost uh, half a billion tons, 500, 500 million tons of honey per year, uh, simply because their vegetation and their environment is, is so suited uh, to the, uh, the habitats of bees. Uh, yellow honeybees, Turkey about 150,000 and there Argentina uh, and Ukraine at about 80,000 tons. Um, South Africa only sadly uh, produces around about uh, between 5,000 to 12,000 pounds a tons uh, of, of honey uh, and even though that's a bit of a sad story the importance of honey farming it's called apiculture by the way mm -hmm. if you're an apiculturist you're a, you're a honey farmer uh, we, we know them as beekeepers yep. So um, there, are, there are about, uh, in South Africa, about 100, um, d uh, just 100 commercial beekeepers or apiculture farms, and uh, they uh, have approximately 80,000 colonies. Now we need about 60,000 colonies to pollinate our fruit crops mm. per year, which is very often why you find honey farms not far from fruit producing areas and about 20,000 uh, you know, hives or colonies we need near our seed, uh, for, you know, our, our, our seed environments. So that's why 80,000. And then you have generally about 1,000 small-scale beekeepers who produce honey. Uh, and the South African Department of Trade and Industry and Environmental Affairs actually have incentives for people like you and me mm -hmm. who want to go into beekeeping because we hear this fantastic story. And we also hear a story of the honey industry uh, currently being about $9.4 billion per annum globally uh, in, in honey that is used uh, in things that we use every day, uh, or alternatively, uh, uh, growing to about 16 or $18 billion by 2032. So why is honey consumption increasing? Mm. Very simple answer. People are sick of sugar and people are sick of sweeteners. And, uh, and globally, health environments and health departments are starting to argue that perhaps going back to those medieval times when everybody recognized the, not only the value, uh, but the healing qualities of, of honey uh, needs to come back. So uh, there's undoubtedly, if you were to invest in honey, unfortunately not many avenues for you except with some food companies mm -hmm. uh, where the value of honey really is hidden. But the opportunity to become a honey farmer or a beekeeper or an apiculturist uh, is uh, definitely there as, as, a, as a possibility. Unfortunately, South Africa only produces 33% of what it needs. Mm -hmm. And uh, here's a final parting shot. If you really think about the value of bees and why they're becoming so sought after in the world as becoming a protected species. Oh. A honey bee lives between 38 and 45 days and in its entire life produces one 
teaspoon of honey. Oh. And that's why they're important and, uh, and why people should cherish bees and honey. Very interesting indeed. Uh, that's the market's unusual, Gary. We'd love to meet the first person who decided to uh, take a look and put that in their mouth, <laughs> right? It was undoubtedly a bear. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. Like that. <laughs> well, that was Gary Alfonso with Markets Unusual. He joins us every Thursday at this time.